All right, have and have not fans. Now, there are a couple of videos we're going to be doing that have to do with behind the scenes stuff, not exactly the show itself. And uh, for starters, you know, I feel like a lot of people agree with me when I say this, you know, aside from the haves and the have nots, if loving you is wrong, um, having those shows released on, you know, home video, whether it be Blu-ray, uh, DVD with behind the scenes stuff. I would love that, you know, even if loving you is wrong and love thy neighbor, I feel like I would binge watch those shows if they were out on home release. Like I would just start from the very beginning and watch them all the way through because I love doing that. I've always been the kind of person that loves having the physical version of something, whether it be a CD, DVD, a book, as opposed to like a Kindle book or, you know, um, iTunes and things like that. Just because I just love, ha there's just some about having, I'm, I'm old school. I mean, I'm only 26, but you get set in your ways at a certain point in your life. Let me just put it that way. But uh, aside from having the content out on home release, let's talk about, you know, Tyler Perry and his shows being on the OWN network. Now, I feel like OWN has helped Tyler Perry in a lot of ways. And of course, OWN has helped, OWN has helped Tyler Perry and Tyler Perry has helped OWN. But in a lot of ways, because OWN isn't like, you know, a common channel, like in terms of basic cable packages or, you know, even Internet TV, because I have Xfinity as my Internet provider here in Lynchburg. Uh, OWN is one of those things. It's like an extra. It's kind of like going to a restaurant. It's like, yes, I like the value meal, which consists of, of course, you know, like a burger, fries, uh, drink, sometimes a dessert, you know, like a cookie. But then it's like, um, you know what? I would like a slice of pie. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to cost you extra because, you know, you have to buy it separate. And it's kind of an inconvenience because it's not like, you know, a Cartoon Network or a, uh, a TBS or ABC, you know. Own is something that not a lot of people have. And it is kind of an inconvenience because even my mom, you know, I think we have uh, Dish Net, yeah, not Direct TV, Dish Network back at home. And, you know, she has to pay extra each month for the own network. And the only reason, the only reason that we actually saw the haves and the have nots when it actually came on the air for the first time was because fate would have it. The own network was actually a free preview channel at the time, because I do know that on some um, cable providers, maybe for like two to three weeks, they'll have these exclusive channels on your network for free so you can tune in. And if you like what you see, then you can upgrade your package to include that channel. Same thing with OWN. Fate would have it that OWN was actually free that particular week. And we saw the haves and the have nots and love thy neighbor. And we we're like, you know what? We're going to upgrade. And then that's how the story started because we were hooked at episode one. So I feel the same when it comes to the OWN network in general. The fact is exclusive, yet it, the show has gotten such high ratings. It makes me wonder, what if the haves and the have nots, as well as his other shows, were on other networks that are more common, you know, like BET, uh, TBS, um, ABC, the list goes on. I feel like even TLC, like uh, Too Close to Home was, I'm not going to lie, in a lot of ways, I feel like the shows might actually do well. I mean, I would love to see a couple of things, you know, like number one, being a black show uh, for, well, not really black show because there are more um, na um, ethnicities on there. But let's just talk about a show created by a black person like Tyler Perry. How would those shows do compared to popular, most, um, excuse, mostly Caucasian shows? Would it get the same level of advertisement? Those things actually make a point and matter because the own network for the most part is predominantly black. So uh, kind of like, you know, a TV one or centric kind of thing. So I wonder what would happen if Tyler Perry shows would move over to those networks. Would they suffer? Would they excel? Especially with Viacom, you know, having him with this deal where he's going to be doing shows and movies on all these different networks. The, if him su him succeeding would actually be interesting. I mean, I feel like House of Pain did pretty well on uh, TBS when it was on there. So. I would be interested to say the least when it comes to having his hit shows on own on these other channels, because I think there was a time where the haves and the have nots were knocking out other popular shows on Tuesday nights in terms of ratings. So if it did so well on an kind of an exclusive channel like own, I wonder how well his shows would do on channels that are pretty much available to pretty much anyone like, you know, would they get more views because everyone has it? 
I feel like that actually would be the case. That's just my opinion. So um, what do you think? I guess it's the best question. Aside from the own network, are there any other aside from the obvious one being BET aside from BET? What other network or networks or stations do you feel that Tyler Perry should have his shows on so they can get more recognition? They can get more, um, they, they'll be more available to a lot of other people because it, it will save us a lot of money, you know, in terms of updating our cable packages to um, get the own network. Those are just my thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this, and I'll talk to you in the next video.